Well, we are working very actively to ensure that we reach an agreement at the earliest possible uh, moment. Um, the Brazilian delegation has been uh, very uh, much involved in the efforts to uh, bridge differences uh, in the uh, paragraphs and the topics that still require some work. Uh, but I think we have um, improved the dynamics and the negotiating process uh, over the last session in New York. So we start this uh, last stretch here in Rio optimistic, cautiously optimistic, as the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says, uh, that we might um, actually be able to present to our leaders a clean text, uh, as clean a text as possible. Uh, this doesn't mean that we are underestimating the divergences. There's still quite a bit of work to be done. But we are now uh, working also in splinter groups to look at specific issues like energy, like the role of the United Nations Environment Program and the governance issues. Um, maybe one of the most difficult uh, sections of the document to tackle is the one on the means of implementation, on uh, the financing of sustainable development, the technology transfer and the capacity building. But again, uh, we are working under the assumption that um, it is possible to reach consensus on all these issues and that we can do this by the end of this week. Let me start by saying that domestically, um, we can be considered already a country that practices what it preaches in terms of sustainable development. Um, and there are many eloquent examples, uh, our clean energy mix, with almost 50% renewable energy. Uh, the positive results that we've been obtaining in, uh, in uh, curbing deforestation. Uh, the voluntary commitments that we've undertaken to limit our greenhouse emissions by 36 to 39% um, until 2020. So this will continue domestically. And when you have a strong um, leading role uh, to show to the rest of the world. I think you can lead by example. You can also lead by exchanging best practices. We will continue very much engaged with our own region, which is potentially a, uh, a region that can be considered a, a laboratory uh, or a pilot project for sustainable development, uh, South America in particular. We will be looking very closely at uh, cooperative arrangements with our friends in Africa and the Middle East in the developing world uh, at large. But we will also be working actively to improve multilateralism in this sphere uh, of activity. Uh, in fact, one of the items on our agenda for Rio Plus 20 is governance as regards sustainable development. We're looking at um, a high-level forum on sustainable development. We're also looking at ways of strengthening UNEP in Nairobi. Um, as we transition into a more multipolar world, I think Brazil is uniquely positioned to ensure that um, we evolve towards a multipolarity of cooperation, not a multipolarity of confrontation or breakdown in communication. This is, I think, a comparative advantage that we have in diplomacy and that we will be actively pursuing.